Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show. One more time, your best friend in science, astronomy, and telescopes. Well, at least I hope one of them. So I was thinking about a different Altazmuth mount, a big one. The AZ-3 is junk, but the Explore Scientific Twilight and the SV Boney, the 225, they're almost identical and they're decent as a small grab and go. I like to use mine for anything portable, quick and solar. Uh, so that works good for that. But I was looking for a big one. So as you guys know, I have a 12 inch LX90 GPS SCT go to type of thing. It's not the ACF, it's the version just before the ACF with the ultra high telescope coating. But anyway, I almost use that exclusively up north when I go about 10 or 12 times a year. And that's only if it's not cloudy, raining, and if I'm just not totally tired type of thing. But I know the capacitors need to be changed, which is not a big deal. I know a telescope store, the one where I returned the SV Boney to, he'll do it for me. And, um, you know, I've plugged their business before. So he's either going to do it very, very cheap or might be free. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure, but he could do it. But I also got to take it there, which is about an hour and minimum 10 minutes, something like that away. So it's not super close by highway. So what I was first thinking is, could I defork my 12 inch SETs? A lot of people do that and either put it on my EQ6. Uh, you know, the EQ6 can handle it. I think, I'm not 100% sure uh, how much a 12 inch SCT OTA weighs, especially the Mead version is, you know, heavier than the, the Celestron version. My guess is probably around 35 pounds. You know, I've had 35 pounds in an EQ6. If you balance it very well, it handles it. One thing, easier to carry because I would be, normally in my backyard, I normally take the whole tripod and mount in one shot, sometimes with one counterweight, but I could take them off and then just put the telescope. Now, fork mounted telescopes are all actually very heavy because you have the telescope, the fork arms, and then the base is all one. The tripod's very easy type of thing. So it is only a two step, but it, that top part is a very heavy part. Now I've had it for several years. It's my longest lasting telescope. I can do it, but as I get older, it's becoming a little hard. It's still okay if I'm going, you know, 10 feet to 30 feet. Opening doors and stuff like that then becomes tricky. But, um, Anyway, so I was thinking of deforking it, getting an ADM or Lasmandi's rail or something, and um, and then putting it on my EQ6 or buying a huge altazimuth mount. Now there really is no manual altazimuth mount that doesn't have go-to. I know the Rowan has a 75 and a 100, but those are expensive, like four to five thousand in Canadian money. And that's, I think, without the go-to uh, version. Now, I know I just saw one like a month, month and a half ago, and they're really rare to find in the used market in Canada, but I did see one, I think one to two months ago, I believe it was 3,000 used, and that's without the go-to version. So I don't wanna spend that much, you know? And I don't need go-to. What I want is if I defork it, I wanna put the star sense, well, I gotta put the rails on it, uh, and then put the star sense on it and just, because with the star sense, you can literally get it up and running like up to 60 seconds and you're, you're done running. Now, most go-to systems, you know, it probably takes up to 10 minute alignment procedure. And I never use it at home because as you guys saw my backyard, it is a almost a 180 south, but no 180 north. So I'm thinking, 
you know, it's, I'm going to have limited access to the go-to system because it, it may want to find stars on this or on that side. So I really enjoy the star sense on the Dobson. So, but a couple things that uh, I changed my mind. First of all, I already looked into the ADM systems for a 12 inch SCT. They're about 325 bucks just to get uh, uh, Los Mandy's bar for it. So if I defork it, like that's a lot of money just for bars. The second problem is if I defork it, okay, and if I, let's say, keep the OTA, try to sell the fork arms with the tripod, or I was thinking maybe keeping the tripod, like so if I just try to sell the fork arms, the base with the hand control, I don't think I'm gonna get much for it. In fact, I'm probably losing money than trying to sell it complete, you know? Okay, <clears throat> that's one thing. Now, I was looking, I'll put it up on screen. I was looking at this mount. So the only other mount that I found that could work, and I've been watching this mount on the internet, on Amazon and AliExpress is the only two places I find it. And I've been watching this for about six to eight months, trying to see if the price will come down, it will come down. And on AliExpress, I have over 12,000 coins, but Anytime I try to buy something, I can never use the coins, you know, it, a dollar or two off, but uh, I, I can't use my mass coins that I have. The deals that they have on the coins is all for garbage that I don't want. So anyway, after eight months and after all this, I figure, okay, why don't I order this mount? Amazon has it for like $556 but the shipping is extra and it's not cheap. It's like $90. And as a prime member, 98% of things are included in free shipping with my prime membership. But there's a few things that are not, and this is one of them. So it's a bit expensive and I've never um, seen it, the shipping go cheaper. I've asked and they said no. AliExpress also has it and they have three versions a two and a half version, a four inch version, and a six inch version. Now I thought the only one that could probably handle the weight of a 12 inch SCT is gonna be the six inch version, it looks pretty big. It claims it can handle up to 30 kilograms, which is like 66 pounds. There's no way in hell it can do 66 pounds. I guarantee you maybe it can handle 30 pounds, but not 30 kilograms, that's a huge difference. But my thinking is, if it is what it claims, maybe it can be comparable. Now, on AliExpress, it's a little bit more expensive, like $30 to $40 more expensive. Not terribly more, but their shipping is like a lot more, like up to $172, almost double what Amazon is. I decided to order it on Amazon, and I wanted to show you guys, try it out, and see if it can work. Uh, two days later or three days later, I get an email from the dealer who's selling it and he's the only one that it's not available anymore. Basically, I told them that's not acceptable, okay? Because you're listing it for sale. Why didn't you know it was not available? I told them, I don't mind waiting a little bit, but I don't want to cancel it. It's, it's his problem. And I told them, I want to review this for my YouTube channel. So I don't want to give you a bad review of trying to sell something that even doesn't exist. You know what I mean? So came back to me again two or three days after that and said, the manufacturer said it's not available at all. Just cancel my order. Um, so I think what he wanted me to cancel is because then he won't get in trouble. Versus if he cancels, maybe he gets a bad rating or maybe Amazon is gonna wonder why he's canceling and not me. But after another three or four days and I didn't hear from him, I'm not getting any updates, I'm not get. I just canceled it myself and now I can't even find it online at all. So when I look on AliExpress, I don't even see six inch version either and the two and a half and four inch version, they, I see that it's coming out with the new version three it says with a, a added couple features so I'm gonna wait and see if the six inch comes back on AliExpress or Amazon if it takes another six months to a year because I would like a 
big Altazimuth mount that doesn't cost a whole lot of money. So the one on Amazon with tax was about like 650. The AliExpress version when it was available was a little bit higher, like about 720 uh, type of thing. So I'm gonna wait. So now what I'm gonna do, because what I wanna do is if I can use the SCT, uh, it's a little, the focal length is a little much with 3000. I really enjoy using the, at home, the star sense on like a 12 inch. So either I'm gonna be looking for another 12 inch Dobson up maybe up to a 16 inch Dobson or maybe something like a 12 inch Quattro. So it's not so long of a tube and it's F4. So I have a big wide field of view, put the star sense on it. And in the city, I can still, you know, a year, year and a half ago, seeing lots of stuff like open clusters, some of the brighter nebulas from the Bordeaux 8 zone or white zone. Uh, I mean, galaxies and globular clusters and most nebulas were still hard, but at least it's easier than the 12 inch uh, go to because that, again, the go to systems take about 10 minutes. I rather just do the star sense, which is much, much easier. So I just wanted like a big Altazimuth mount or at least put that one on my EQ6, put it on the Altazimuth mode if I can. I haven't checked to see if my EQ6 can do the both like I did that one video. Can an EQ6 turn into an Altazimuth? I think it can, but I never actually tested it. So that way I can just pop it outside and start viewing easy because also in a white zone or a zone eight, uh, it's it's hard to see a lot of stars, you know what I mean? You might see, a, a, I'm lucky if I see a, about 10 stars and it's you know, hard to find anything when you can't, you know, star hop from a star. So the star sense makes it so much easier. Uh, so I just wanted to do that. Uh, so I'm gonna try to sell uh, or trade the 12 inch complete because I think I'll get more money than breaking it up. I mean, I could, Again, keep the OTA, but again, just those bars are over $325 Canadian, which is a lot of money. Then I gotta buy the mount, and with taxes, it's gonna be, it depends where I get it, but 650 to 700 plus. Hopefully I can use the uh, Mead uh, two inch tripod. If I can't, then I gotta buy a tripod too. So it's gonna add up. So I wanna see if I can sell it complete, it might be easier, if not, I still maybe might defork it, but I might not. So I'm either, again, looking for a 12 inch daub uh, to a 16 inch daub, put the star sense on there, or like a 12 inch quattro uh, and put it on my EQ6. Might even just give up on this mount at all because I did find another good mount. Now it's not gonna carry a 12 inch SCT OTA, but it can fit a couple of my like the uh, Ascar 140, I currently have it on the EQ6. I might put it on this mount, which I'm gonna show you guys in the near future. And then I can use a 12 inch on my EQ6. So I'm thinking something like that. I may forget about this huge 30 kilogram Altazimuth altogether. Maybe I might consider in the future, but I, I, I don't think so, because I already found this new mount. Uh, it's an equatorial, but that's okay. So anyway, just wanted to let you guys know, I was thinking of this mount. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. It claims to carry a huge payload and I, I don't believe it. I think 30 pounds maybe, but not 30 kilograms. I was thinking of deforking the 12 inch SCT. I don't think I want to do that anymore because yeah. I had a really fun time observing from the city uh, with the star sense. It's just so easy and it finds you that stuff really good. So I think I want to continue that, that trend and um, Again, I believe the 12 inch SCT, I gotta change the capacitors because the last year or so, the go-to is working and sometimes it's not working. So I think that means the capacitors has been too long. I have not changed them since I got them, which was a long time. Not super long, you know, it's not the classic. It is Mead LX90 GPS level North technology, LNT version with the ultra high contrast coding. So it's the version just before the ACF. That's what I'm thinking. So anyway, guys, so that's what I'm thinking. On the next video, you'll see what other mount I found. So I don't think I'm gonna go the Altazimuth route anymore. I may still consider it to show you guys in the future, but I may not. Anyway, guys, that's it. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next 
video. If you know anybody getting in the hobby, share my channel. If you're on the forums, share my channel if you like. You want to, I do have members video where once a month, I put a video just for the members. It does not go public. And I also put your name in the description. So if you'd like to join, it helps the channel grow. It's only 99 cents a month. And that's it. Why not you? Why not me?